Hey, uh, Brain Discovering, I'm not sure what your your real name is, but um, I appreciate you responding to uh, my comments, and I'm not sure if it was just to my comments or if other people made a similar comment um, in regards to the introduction of your video uh, where you called religious people ignorant. Um, you know, I understand, I did understand originally where you were coming from and why you would make that claim, but um, I think it's, it, it would have, I still think it would have been more appropriate uh, to say that uh, there are ignorant people and open-minded people. Uh, there are ignorant atheists and ignorant religious people. Uh, and there are open-minded atheists and open-minded religious people. And, you know, I've come across as many dogmatic, closed-minded atheists as I have dogmatic, closed-minded theists, or religious people in general. So, to me, I, there's not really too much of a one-to-one -one correlation between ignorance and religion. Um, you know, from a historical perspective, the reason we have science today is because the Catholic Church valued knowledge of nature, uh, you know, during the later Middle Ages and the Medieval period, and fostered scientific understanding in an age of relative darkness and, uh, you know, deep civilizational decay. If it weren't for the Catholic Church, we would not have knowledge of, you know, ancient Greek philosophy, and we wouldn't have developed the beginnings of the scientific method. And obviously, when um, Galileo and, and others came into direct conflict with church doctrine, and there was this political power struggle, the church became a little more repressive, obviously. But, you know, religion and science, or religion or spirituality and open-minded exploration of nature do not need to conflict. And when it comes to atheism, it's a negative title. It's telling other people what you're not, not telling them what you are. Um, I wouldn't identify myself as an atheist, even though there are certain forms of theism that I don't find, you know, believable or useful or amenable to the facts. I don't refer to myself as an atheist because it doesn't really tell anybody anything other than I don't believe in some specific version of theism. Um, but when it comes to religion or having some type of a spiritual perspective, I don't think human beings can avoid that. And when we try to repress it, when we try to say all we need is science or all we need is uh, you know, empirical knowledge or whatever, that religious need sneaks in the back door uh, and is expressed unconsciously as some kind of dogmatic uh, belief that you're unwilling to question. So rather than try to repress this spiritual urge that I think is natural in human beings, I mean, you have to admit that a lot of our experience here, the whole you know, sense that we exist at all, it's rather mysterious. And we can't pretend like we have an explanation for why we're here. I mean, yeah, we have the story of the Big Bang and evolution and all that. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree, and it's, it's an amazing story, right? But why did that happen? How did this even start? You know, we have the Big Bang Theory, but that doesn't help. You know, if anything, this evolutionary trajectory that goes back 14 billion years is more amazing and more awe-inspiring and astonishing than anything ever written in any of the religious texts in human history. Science, as far as I'm concerned, is more uh, spiritually illuminating than anything, um, and it inspires a sense of mystery greater than I could get from any other religion. So, I don't think we can get rid of this sense of spiritual longing, this experience of mystery inherent to human existence, uh, I think we should rather face it, you know, dead in the eye and try to express it in the least destructive, most open-minded, 
uh, and helpful way that we can. Um, and rather than trying to continue to have this polarization between religious and, and scientific people or, or whatever, we need to recognize that we have more in common than not. And often the really angry atheists who are constantly engaging the really angry theists in these debates that lead nowhere, uh, they, they have more in common with the theists than they do you know, with any actual genuine scientist or open-minded person. Um, the fundamentalist theists and the reductionistic atheists uh, are both way more certain about the knowledge that they think they have about reality than they should be. Or at least that's my experience. Um, but I do appreciate you, you know, acknowledging um, the concern that I had, and I'm, I'm sure other people uh, contacted you about that statement about the ignorance of religious people. Um, I'm glad that you responded to it and uh, explained yourself. So, uh, thanks.